Hello, here's the internet. We are back. Uh, for the record, I'm filming all of these episodes consecutively. So if you posted anything in the comments of the previous one, as I am filming this one, it is literally like two minutes after I finished filming the last one. So I haven't read them yet because they are being posted in the future for me. But like, I will answer them as soon as possible. I sincerely doubt that you have any comments though because this game is fairly obscure and most people will not have any tips for it. However, if you do have some tips, I thank you for them. Words and stuff. Why are there so many snakes on this island? I'm tired of all these mother motherfuckers. I'm tired of all these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. I'm not sure why that just popped into my head, though. Like, I mean, I, I, I remember where it's from. There's, like, this... I think maybe it's, like, someone played a clip of that line uh, from Snakes Off Lane into, like, Siri, and that's what she heard. I think maybe that was it. I'm not sure. I'll probably... I'll, I'll look it up later. Whatever. Uh, in fact, I'll look it up later. So apparently, uh, apparently it was like what they edited that line to to put it on like daytime TV. I mean, I'm pretty. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think that's a bit of a stretch. I don't know when I would refer to any snakes as fighting monkeys or any planes as only existing between the days Monday and Friday. But hey, whatever you say. I'm drawing. Ooh, there's a gym. Er, not a gym, because this isn't Pokemon. God, I wish there was like a Pokemon mod for this. Dude, that would be so cool. But anyway, there's a uh, the dungeon over there. Although it only appears to have one inhabitant. So let's just hope that that, that sole inhabitant is relatively strong, or else this is going to be pretty boring. Nope, it's just an acid slug. But hey, it's good money. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. A smurp, a smurp, a smurp, a smurp. I don't know these lyrics. Spooky, scary skeletons are so misunderstood. And in that walking animation, it kind of looks like a dick. But spooky, scary skeletons are, sh are silly all the same. Meh, 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 I wish I knew these lyrics. Like, seriously, I'm losing my... I'm, I'm more or less losing my Tumblr cred right now, because I don't know the lyrics to spooky, scary skeletons. Ow, crap. Okay, that is actually a kind of a strong one. Ow, shit. Well, oh, Jesus. Show your ass. All right then. It appears that the island is cleared. Uh, since the boat is so goddamn slow at the moment, I'm gonna pause it till I get somewhere. All right, here we are at scenic. Everybody is going to die now. Island named so because dear God, they're all had that that went quick. I'm I'm about to have to pause it like right now. Oh wait, actually there's another one right here. So uh, that that's helpful. Ow, son of a bitch. Ow, son of a bitch. Uh, I nearly like reflexively paused the video instead of pressing space because I have too many buttons in my head that constantly need pressing. Ow, ow, Batman, why? Batman, you're supposed to be defending truth and justice in the American way, or wait, is that Superman? I think that's Superman. Wait, no, crap, that actually was Superman. I thought that that was Captain America at first, and I was, um, making stupid jokes. But, actually, I'm pretty sure I was right there. 
crap, now I'm gonna have to look that up too. It is Superman! You now have lost even more of my Tumblr clip for not being able to effectively make a stupid joke. There are so many there are so many snakes on this island. No, 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 no. Dying is not good. Dying is not good. Dying is generally frowned upon. Dying is generally frowned upon. The mat thing at that foot. It leaves out his car up. It's a man. It leaves up. Why is it that whenever I'm like alarmed? Oh yeah, that's a corpse, sir. Uh, I'll. For, mo for the moment, you are called Meat Octopus. Because, that, frankly, that's what I think of when I see you. But, uh, I'll, I'll come up with a better name for you in a moment. But, for the moment... Oh, look, Spider-Man. For the moment, I am looking for a campfire. Oh, look, Hail Hydra. Like, wait, why is it that, like, half of these guys' names are Marvel references? Like, like, I'm a Marvel fan, but I'm not even that big of a Marvel fan. Why is it that I... Now, why are you dying me? Dying me? Yes, why are you dying me? Why are you just slathering me in, like, red dye? Although, actually, that would explain why my body remains this gorgeous, well-tanned, healthy-looking brown when I'm wearing a full goddamn suit of armor. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm having to, like, do some, like, James Bond level, like, like, Bruce Lee, more or less, level, uh, dodging in order to out, crap, get around these guys and continue my mad dash around the place looking for a campfire. Ow, shit. I'm getting my ass whipped. Tentacles. I shall call you... Hentai's. Because frankly, I appear to be a naked man running around on a deserted island filled with tentacles. I have seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Ow. The tentacles are beating me. I knew that's where this was going. Oh, it also occurs to me that I've had my my uh, staff out this entire time, which adds even further to the weirdness. It occurs to me that actually, also, since I'm naked, that means I have two staffs. Campfire! I can stop making hentai jokes now. Don't ask me what the logic in that is, but it's there, trust me. It's like... Wait, wait, now... If I can just get... A halbiard. Give me a halbiard. I'm just buying random crap... So that I'll get out of the way... So I can get a damn halbiard. No. No. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh. Are you fucking serious? Okay, well now at least I know where I can get a Halbiard once I have enough money again. Okay, how much how much damage does this do? Uh let's see. I'm gonna pause it while I figure out the best configuration for my randomly bought items. Okay, now that I'm all dressed up in ancient Roman BDSM garb, uh, I suppose I can get started kicking some ass. Uh, the Morning Star, the Morning Star is pretty good because it's got some reach on it, and I'm pretty sure the damage is like at least half as good. As the Halbiards, because I'm pretty sure the Halbiard has 30 damage on it, and this has 15. But it's like, it's definitely not as good as a Halbiard. Again, sorry for the fact that I'm probably saying it wrong, it's just, I feel like Halbiard is just the best way to pronounce it.
Also, now I have one. So, you know, I'm about to go fuck some shit up. So, you are about to see the pure on a. Okay, well, first off. Yeah, the attack is starting. You were about to see the pure unadulterated power that is the Halbiard. Did you see that? I just friggin' decapitated a meat octopus in one hit. Do, do meat octopi even have heads to, de to decapitate? Screw it. Anyway. I am chopping the tip off of all of these tentacle penises, which it occurs to me, where are they coming from? I mean, you know, no pun intended. Like, where are they actually seriously coming from? Is the Earth trying to rape me? Is it, like, that these islands are sentient somehow? Like, what is it that's producing these tentacles? Are they plants, perhaps? Are they like evil tentacle plants? That sounds like the weirdest concept for a hentai I've ever heard of. Uh. Yeah, okay. Batman and Spider Man are teaming up against a naked guy with a halbiard. And of course, he mercilessly decapitates both of them. Because how we are, to just badass like that. Like, are you seeing this shit? I am like one hitting level 4 monsters. Ooh, ooh, I think those are like uh, the Elven boots or Dexterity boots or some shit, I don't remember. The boots of speed, anyway! Either way, I now walk faster! Stepping on a beat. Stepping on a beat. Stepping on a beat. Stepping on a beat. Murdering my enemies. Murdering my enemies. But yeah, all SpongeBob references aside, the game, the, the process of the game is now going to speed up quite a bit. From here on out, it's just going to be Halbiards, Meat Octopi, and Stepping on a Beach. Is going to be the entire series. In fact, I would not be surprised if I reference if it ends up being just me referencing Stepping on a Beach over and over again the entire time. Also, it occurs to me that these guys work a lot like billiards or or those little uh, metal ball desk toy things. Because like if you hit one of them into the other. The one that you hit will stop moving, and the one that got hit by the thing will move with a velocity almost equal to that of the one that was moving at first. Also, they like their corpses will like bounce off of stuff, and in fact, their live bodies will also bounce off of stuff. So they're basically billiards, monster-shaped. Potentially rapist billiards. I remember when I first heard about billiards. Like I, I, I had known it as pool before then. By the way, Hill Hydra. Maybe these, maybe like tentacles are like a devolved form of Hydra. Or maybe like when, when you kill a Hydra, its tentacles go like, 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 the, the, the tentacles dissolve into the earth, and then pop up someplace else, as little baby things. But then that wouldn't, ex that wouldn't explain why I've been seeing tentacles already, but I hadn't been seeing any, uh, seeing and thus killing any Hydra. So I'm gonna stick by the first theory, uh, that the tentacles are like, uh, less advanced version of the Hydra. Also, I just picked up invisible money. Like, I literally couldn't see it. Anyway, I am getting way off topic. In fact, I am getting so off topic that I don't even remember what on topic was.
Let's see. Yeah, I have no clue. Uh. Also, whenever I challenge one of these guys, I can't help but think Ungar a boy. Like, I am too deeply embedded in the skeleton war at this point to stop. I can't. Can't stop. Won't stop. Don't actually like Miley Cyrus. Uh, sorry. It's okay if you hate me for that, I guess. I mean, hey, everybody's got opinions. Like, I don't think she's necessarily a bad person. I think, for one thing, she's probably at least a slightly mentally troubled person. Like, there's, there's probably something up in that little slicked back head of hers that's sort of begging for attention, you know? Because, like, and like I get it, she is sort of a voice for the feminist movement, but also, she's not really that much of a... She's not that good as a voice for the feminist movement. She kind of makes it look ridiculous. Like, it's sort of like inadvertently making a mockery of the feminist movement. But frankly, I don't appreciate it. Like, I get that she's, she's trying to help. Uh... But I feel like due to the fact that, like I said, I'm pretty sure she's also attempting to get attention. I think that is causing, is, is like influencing, influencing her and causing her to do these exaggerated weird things in order to get that attention. And it's causing her to sort of become kind of a caricature of, fe of feminism. You know? I'm getting way off topic. Again, I'm not even sure what on topic was. How did we get to Miley Cyrus? Let's see, we were... We were on, uh... Jesus, how did we get here? Well, actually, now it's time to start naming stuff again, so... Uh... We had a gargoyle, which I'm going to name Quasimodo. Let's see, there's, there's a demon. I know it's pronounced Damon technically, but I'm going to call you demons. And your names will be Crowleys. I'm not sorry at all for that. Let's see, golden statues. Uh, Weeping Angels. I'm going to try mo to make most of these be fandom themed. Because I really haven't been living up to my title of fandom man lately. And you are a gigantus. 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 See, now I can't think of a name for that one. I nearly died just now. That would have been bad. Gigantus. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna, like, pause it until I can figure our name. They might be giants! Huh? Huh? No? Bad? You know what? Whatever, I'm keeping it. It's good. Shut up. I know you didn't say anything. Shut up anyway. Well, like, seriously, I think I think I made a relatively good pun there. They might be giants. Ow, son of a bitch, stop hitting me. Like, speaking of They Might Be Giants, have you ever, like, listened to their music and just wondered what the fuck they're talking about? Like, Birdhouse in Your Soul, uh... And, like, what was that one? Like, basically all of their songs, if you listen to them, they make no sense. They're like the Beatles. They're like modern day Beatles, more or less. Except, less popular. I mean, they're, they're, they're still pretty popular. It's just they're not Beatles level popular. They're not like, in 50 years, they will, there will still be posters of them and like fan clubs. 
popular. Although maybe there will be. I don't know. Maybe they're gonna like experience a popularity boom sometime in the near future. Son of a bitch, stop hitting me. How powerful? How powerful are you guys? Ow! Jesus Christ! Why are you so powerful? Stop being powerful. It occurs to me that why are you so powerful? Stop being powerful is generally the entire uh, misogynistic argument against feminism. Like, why are you so powerful? Stop being powerful. That's more or less all. That's the entire thing. As I said, you can just sort of hit them through the wall. Like, you really, you don't, you can just be a pussy. You can just sort of chill here, lemonade in one hand, halberd in the other, blindly swinging at them through a three-foot-thick concrete wall. If you wanted to. Of course, I'm not going to be doing that the entire time because I'm not a pussy. I might do it occasionally if, like, there's like a crap ton of monsters on the other side, and I need to thin them out a bit before I go charging in. Uh, so like, occasionally you might catch me doing that. Oh, where are you? Double the effective healing potion! Tala! Thank you. He wasn't even looking at me. He, he was just refusing to look at me. Maybe it's because there's a fault line over there. I'll tell you, man, there's like some Twilight Zone shit going around there. Like the rift. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna wanna like pause it here. I'm pretty sure I've been filming for quite a while. Uh, anyway, like I've been saying, guys, uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. There'll be a link in the description to play it for yourself. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like this if you want to. Post a comment saying if you want me to continue this series. Uh, although, I mean, if you don't, I probably won't even have posted this uh, episode, so hopefully you do, if you are hearing my voice right now. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I am Phantom Man, this has been Tiny RPG Episode 2, and...